was the situation where Abby Morgan, who I didn't know at the time, uh, wanted to meet me, and I, you know, I didn't know who she was, so I was like, yes, I'll meet her, and I found out who she was as a writer. And, I, you know, 45 minutes to meet her, I said, OK, well, I'm, I'll meet her. Three and a half hours later, we were still talking. Uh, I think we started to talk about the internet, and then we started to talk about pornography, and then we started to talk about relationships, and then we ended up talking about sex, sexual addiction. Usually when we see sex in films, it's all very sexy, and, you know, it's, it's filmed in that sort of way, whereas this sort of, how, you know, you can show sex without it having this sexiness element to it. And it just seemed like, you know, it was a topic that was that was there. It's like, you know, kind of like Steve has called it, you know, the elephant in the room that nobody's sort of talking about. So um, all of us felt like it was important and an interesting thing to, to, to investigate. Slowly. Well, Michael was the first on the first thing on the list, but again, I don't take Michael for granted. It's just as I didn't take him for granted in Hungary, you, the script has to be good. I gave him the script and he liked it and that was it. So it was one of those things where Michael can, you know, again, we have a shorthand now because he facilitates a certain kind of aspect of what I want. But at the same time, he adds to it. I mean, he's a great actor. Similar to Kerry. Uh, you know, I, I met Kerry on, 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 on Shame, but I think now we have a relationship. So it's one of those things where, you know, you, you pick up things on, along the way. Well, our first meeting was more about me convincing him uh, that I could do the job. Um, so we talked more in terms of uh, how I could fit into the film when we first met and, and what it would take. He, I remember him saying quite specifically that um, I was good, but that if I was going to be in his film, I'd have to be 16 times better. Can I stay? Just for a few days. Look, you get the sofa and you get your ass off it before I leave every morning. I think, you know, the introduction of Sissy's character is really sort of what brings it to a head. Um, her arrival disrupts his ritual. And, and in, in the disruption of that ritual, I think us as an audience, we get a real insight into, into the severity of his condition. Hey, it's me. Pick up. All of the scenes between the brother and sister were so combustible, and, um, and there was sort of an awkwardness in how their, their dynamic used to work. That, that it used to be that she would provoke him and he would react, and that was funny, and they would fight. And now there's something that misfires every time, and she doesn't understand why. So I liked the sort of... Um, those connections sort of breaking, and I liked sort of, yeah, the idea of things just not quite, be, the unease of, of their situations was sort of interesting. I love your brother. What an amazing man. How long are you here for? I don't know. You don't know? Can I see you again? Please, oh, is that too forward? I just, I find you fascinating. I really do. I think you're a fascinating creature. I'd love to see you again. Listen, why don't we... This is a celebration. Let's get champagne. Yes! Champagne for champagne. everybody. The whole thing. Come on. Champagne. I mean, the key factor is when Sissy sings New York, New York to Brandon. I mean, it's the only time where brother and sister actually have uh, kind of intimacy in the whole movie or communication with the whole movie. I'd sung a tiny bit on stage a couple of years ago, but I'd never sung on film. Um, so it was sort of... That was the most nerve-wracking part of this job. Um, but Steve, from the beginning, had a really clear idea of what he wanted from that song, um, down to what I was wearing. He just had a complete vision for what it should be. If I can make it there, I'll make it We felt like we were just choreographing our own scenes and the camera was following us around, but then when you watch it, it's just done with so much artistry. Um, but he never made you feel the effort of that, so for us, it just felt like we could do what we like. Uh, and then somehow, without us noticing, he must have manipulated that into looking beautiful. It's about sort of finding it. I mean, I don't storyboard, I have to, you know, I have to find it, in a way. And, and, and you, you, that's, it's all about the stuff which is in between us, in a way. Stuff which is in the air, that's what you want to sort of illustrate. I've never got a direct note from from Steve or direction. You know, he we're, you know he very much wants to discover it with you, or be surprised by what you're doing, and then and, and surprise one another. Again, it's sort of like we have an idea of what we're going into, but then it's the mistakes and the, the elements that happen within that that really sort of reveal certain things, and and that's the sort of freedom that he definitely creates.